Good morning. Whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever lays down their life for me will find it. Um, what would happen if you get to that point of laying down of the self-life or denial of self? Um, that's when we become free. We truly become free. We're so rooted in self-centeredness. We're trying to justify our life by what we do or what we accomplish. Um, and, and yet, we weren't created for us. We were created for Him. Uh, and that's what the Gospel teaches. That's what Jesus is teaching. The one who lays down his life will find it. Deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow me. And that's where we experience in my life. That's when I finally after 45 years, finally coming to that point of submitting my life and denying of self. And it's a totally different way of living. Now I'm not, I don't have to justify my own life. I've been justified. I realize I wasn't created for me. I was created to love him and love others. Um, and before I was in bondage to self, because I came into the world apart from that love of God, so now I'm trying to justify and glorify my own life by what I do and all the brokenness that comes along with that. Um, I tried all kinds of different paths in my life. Um, you name it, all the different idols that the Bible talks about. You know, idolatry is just saying, I'm running to this instead of you, God. Somehow I'm hoping that this will satisfy the brokenness within, but it never does. Um, but when you come to Him, that's where you experience the fullness of life that He created. Um, you either believe that or you don't. And we have the free will to choose to submit to God or continue to live apart from Him. Autonomous, as they chose in the garden. You know. Uh, but in my life, um, that's I just came to that point. And then the last six and a half years... Not having to live, you know, I prayed the first year, two years of God deliver me from this bondage of self. Uh, God deliver me from the bondage of self. Because that's what's always going to try and creep back in is to self-centeredness. It's not deny the devil, pick up your cross and follow me. It's deny yourself. Um, because that is where the struggle comes in. And in denial to self is where we truly find life for the first time. Um, as he created it to be. There's beauty in that. There's there's peace and joy and contentment in being his. And there's uh, that the peace that comes from not having to justify and glorify your own life is amazing. Now all of a sudden your eyes are open to everything around you and you're able to invest in other people's lives and love them unconditionally rather than conditionally. When you're rooted in self, everything's conditional. I'm going to say I love you, but really I'm saying I need you because I need you to love me back. Um, and that's bondage. It's not freedom. There's not, there's not a sense of uh, understanding of who you are and whose you are. So you're constantly out there striving to receive rather than just being. Be still and know that I am God. Rest in me. Know, learn from me, know who I am, and know who you are for the first time, your created value. He died on the cross for us, not just because of our sins, but he died for, for us so that we can be reconciled to him and we can be restored uh, back to what our created value is. Um, and that's, that's a lot better news than just that he died for your sins. Um, it's beautiful that he died for our sins, but at the same time, there's something underneath that all that we're supposed to be. There was We were created in the image of God, so he's restoring that image that was taken, that was lost. We were cut off, now we can be restored back to the love of God. Anyway, God bless you all. I hope you experience that love today, and you don't have to live for yourself anymore. You can lay that self-life down and, and be connected to, to the one, the creator of all things. God bless.